Hello everybody and here we are in the E25 once again and uh, as I said in the previous video it's one of the most OP tanks you will get in the game uh, it has one of the best superb uh, camo rating and I'm gonna show you in the same day I had another game in the E25 where I achieved Top Gun and abused the EV range and camo rating again and also the firepower of this tank is absolutely amazing um, so you can see I'm t platooned up was a M5 steward. The M5 steward is a suicide scout uh, that can light up the enemy without too much cost for the team. So um, it's a nice combo because you know uh, I can let the scout uh, scout for me while I I can remain in the bush and snipe everyone out. Um, I cannot use that bush location because if I use it, I would not have the gun depression to fall down. So here's a Hellcat. You can really love this. Okay, now SU one five two one. This is like a this is like a Gatling machine gun in World of Tanks. So we can keep on firing. As long as I don't hit his gun, I will pin him. And I think I get spotted there. But uh, I'm not using my best crew, so the the DPM is still not as high as possible. Um, uh, this is not my best crew in this tank. I forgot to put my Borsa crew, and instead I put the PZSFL5 crew, which is bad. Um, so I gotta help out Tim Jin here, kill that guy, and let's make a run for it because it's so small, it's so easy to get away. And then you get back to your own position and keep on the work. And here's a panther who really wanna kill a scout and risk his life. So, you know, I'm gonna revenge. I'm so gonna revenge in this tank. Just check this out. What tank can you do that? <laughs> Just seriously chasing after the back of a tank. This is what it's good at. Tanks with bad gun depression uh, when they're looking back, you know, cannot hit you, and you just shove in their back and just just put shots after shots. So we're losing here, and the game is the fifty percent. Oh, T twenty five AT. I have to eliminate him as soon as possible. Uh, we're losing the other side, so I have to really kill this guy quickly. He slams a shot into me. I have seven seconds. So now I have to back up. Don't want to take more hits than that and I'll leave that tank to someone else to deal with while I deal with someone else um, so you can see the enemy is attacking from that side now it's now a matter of time um, before our cap is gonna get resetted or stopped by one of the enemy they would definitely come here but I have to try to do as much damage as possible before they do so so this rock prevents me right now but here I can plant shots but can't spot him again so IS2 it's pretty hard to pen it so therefore I load the gold so I bounced a shot from Black Prince took a hit from the Yak Panda 4 bounced another Black Prince shot and the Borsig is dead so let's kill him with APCR around quickly and efficiently ok now we back up and after we break contact, okay, there's a full health Black Prince. That's gonna be very tough. Very, very tough. I'm just lining up the shot. And I think I hit the building there. So, back to AP. Yak Panda 4, no shot. I'm not in a hurry, I just have to defend this side. And I don't know where is our Tiger and the T49 going. 
And okay, Yak Panda 4 wants to reset. Not not good enough against this DPM. And now I got a ricochet. And now I don't hit a shot. And I know that if I get hit one more time, I could be dead. So I will ambush him in the in the open. And there goes the kill. And an SU-152. There's 14 seconds until we cap 13, 11. I don't have time to aim, so I auto aim and then back up. And then blind shots to get the kill in the end to secure my top gun. One of the the most OP tanks in the game, as I said. So if you can get your hand on one of those, it's absolutely amazing to play with. It's so fun. And the thing is, you really have to learn the way to play this TD. It's special. It's a special tank. It's, this is the only tank where you can really be a Ghost Recon Sniper. You relocate, you fire and you punish them and then relocate again to ambush you will never get spotted that's your plan basically change your location shoot them from all different location and lead them to death that's, that's, that's the way you want to play this tank and um, yeah 3000 damage plus so this game was actually pretty good and then yeah get yourself one of them before before they, they probably remove it from the gift shop you know this tank could be removed because it's it's like a Type 59 at the time, you know, it's good OP. Uh, but then, one thing is, there's plenty of players who don't know how to play this tank because they they just drive in into the enemy base in the first minute of the game because they got speed and then they just get killed. Um, so it depends. But if you know how to use this sort of play style, then you know this can be one of the most dangerous tanks in the game and if you like this sort of playstyle why not get one it makes more money than tier 8 premium tanks and I do mean it you really do make that much money because you're doing so much damage to them and then you, your your shells are so cheap so you make more money than the IS-8 IS-6 for example so hopefully you like this video and hopefully I highlighted the the OP-ness of this tank once again and I'll see you next time